DPS fifth graders. We are here for lesson three of our essential question, how does the United States Constitution shape the rights and responsibilities of American citizens and their government? Today, we're gonna to be working with the learning target of I can analyze the structure of text and include how specific portions of the text relate to one another and the whole. Remember that you can always pause and rewind as you need so that way you can have appropriate understanding. And of course, make sure that you have something to write on and to write with. All right, so of course we know that we read to learn. Today we're gonna to be reading this text from Reading A to Z, titled The Bill of Rights. And we're gonna be reading to learn what the Bill of Rights and other amendments to the Constitution mean and how they're related to one another. Remember our learning target has to do with relationships, and so we're gonna be looking at that. We're also going to be looking at the other part of our learning target, which is analyzing the structure of part of the text and how those parts of the text relate to one another. And then we'll preview your assignment as well. All right, so together in this video, we're going to be doing these three sections together. So you will definitely want to make sure that you have notes on these because then your assignment deals with other sections. All right, so when I'm looking at the introduction, because again, we're doing the first three sections, as I'm reading it, I'm going to be utilizing my skills of finding the central idea because I need to first find the central idea. And then once I find the central ideas of each section, then I can analyze how they're related to one another. So you can use the text link um, on our canvas to go ahead and read. Um, as we've been reading them, I noticed that the introduction is all about how in 1969, the Supreme Court ruled in a case that regarded freedom of speech. Okay, so it's starting to kind of tell me about how the Bill of Rights was used. And then in the highest law of the land, it talks about how there was the Confederation of States that didn't work. And so in 1787, that constitution was created. We've kind of already touched on this, the Constitution is the highest law in the land. That next section is talking about how James Madison wrote 20 amendments. An amendment is a change or addition to the Constitution um, because there was not only James Madison but other people as well were make, uh, wanting to make sure that citizens' rights were protected. If I'm clicking the wrong button. They wanted to make sure that citizens' rights were protected. They wanted to make sure that it was explicitly stated which rights were protected. Um, so Madison wrote 20 of them and he approved 10 of them that became the Bill of Rights. Of course, we have more amendments now, but those first 10 are still known as the Bill of Rights. All right, so I have gone ahead and found my main ideas of each section. So now I'm gonna go ahead and analyze how those uh, portions of the text relate to one another and the whole. All right, so how do they relate to one another? They're all about the Constitution. This, is, uh, this section is about uh, how it was used. This is about how the Constitution was made, and this is about how the Bill of Rights was added to the Constitution. So that's something that they all have in common. It's also all about the Bill of Rights, because when they created the highest law on the land, they also wrote the Bill of Rights. Okay, so that's how they're related to one another. Remember, if they're related, it means what do they have in common, okay? All right, so now let's think about how do the sections relate to the text as a whole? So this has to be done last because I have to know the full text before I can think about how they all relate. How do they all work together? Well, how does it all work together? Well, first it gives examples of how the Bill of Rights protects citizens' rights. This introduction directly does this because I don't wanna just know about something and be like, okay, that's what happened. I have to know about how it's relevant, right? And so this gives an example of how the Bill of Rights protects citizens' rights in the present day, right? Um, and then it also provides background knowledge of how and why it was created. If you don't know how and what and why the Bill of Rights is, the rest of the text is not going to make sense. So these three sections work together to make sure that we can understand the rest of the text. All right, so again, um, this is our learning target and now you are going to go ahead and do this with analyzing how the amendments work together. So you're gonna go ahead and complete this graphic organizer while reading the text. You will be starting on page 12 because we've already done um, the first couple and make sure that this is uh, shared with your teacher and you're gonna find on the next Canvas page. Have a great day.